Hi guys, it's Danielle. Um, I know I haven't done a video in like two years, but I finally have some inspiration to do a video, so I'm going to do it. And I'm going to try to keep up with videos, maybe, hopefully, we'll see. Um, I have a recent obsession with the Dollar Tree, and um, I have some products here that I want to review. Because, you know, there's not a lot of videos out there. I mean, there are a lot of videos on Dollar Tree stuff, but there's not a lot of reviews on actual products to say uh, yay or nay, buy this, don't buy this, that kind of thing. There's a few, but not a lot. So I figured I would try to help someone out, you know, with certain things. I do have a lot of stuff, so I'm going to split this into, like, two videos. Um, I have a lot of, like, bath and body stuff, and then I have a lot of cleaning stuff and household and decorative and things like that. So what I'm going to do is today I'm going to do household. And then another day I will do the beauty. I'll try to do the beauty tomorrow. If I can't do the beauty tomorrow, I'll try to do it at some point before the weekend. So let's just get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is just a plain old bottle that you can put anything in, water, a household cleaner that you can make. Like people, a lot of people make their own cleaners because they just want to, I guess. Um, but this, I just put a uh, tea tree oil and water solution. This was for my daughter's hair. Um, she was having issues with um, head lice, so um, I had to make a tea tree oil um, solution. Um, if you guys didn't know, tea tree oil helps um, prevent lice and it also helps kill lice. So, um, just a tidbit of information. That's not what this video is about, though. Um, if you guys want more information on that, either Google it or you can message me, and I will help you out with that. Next thing. This is a, um, <laughs> one of those, uh, lint things. You know how they have lint rollers with the paper? Well, this is an actual lint thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's one of the, a lint roller without the roller. It this has like um like a rug type of material, like a I don't know what it, to call it, but you rub it on your clothes. It tells you which way to go. It, it arrow goes down that way, so you go like this on your clothes, and it takes hair off, and you're not wasting paper and throwing out all these pieces of paper off the lint roller. And this actually really works very well. I mean, there does come a point where you have to throw it out because it becomes ratty, but um, it's definitely worth the dollar. Give it a try. Next thing, air freshener. This is a car air freshener. And they're cute. Um, I do have one in my car now. Um, it's a cupcake. And it's in a vanilla scent. This one is a butterfly. It's in the ocean scent, if you can see that ocean. Um, these are good. They do only give out like a light scent. It's not a heavy scent at all. So if you're looking to mask the scent of vomits or the scent of alcohol or something like that, this is not going to do that. This is just going to make a little bit of a stinky car less stinky. As I did, I bought a um, used car back in November, and um, the car didn't smell that good. So I got one of these. And just an FYI. They do not sell refills, scent refills for these. But the scent portables at Bath and Body Works, those little round things, fit in these. So just so you know, not all is lost. You buy one of these, you can refill it. So tidbit of information. Next thing, bathroom cleaner. Everybody needs it. Everybody wants it. Everybody has issues finding one that works. I used to buy scrubbing bubbles. Gets expensive. Kaboom. Love Kaboom. Gets expensive. This is compared to Kaboom. And it's ultra oxygen. Da, da, da. Anytime you see the oxy in a name, I'm like, oh, gotta buy it. It's got oxy in it. Um, but uh, this one really does work. I have to say, it, it sprays on blue and then turns white when clean. I don't know how true that is, if it really is like a time thing, like, okay, great, it's blue, I have to wait. No, I don't know how true that is. But it really does work. This is good. For a dollar, pick it up. If it's in your store, pick it up. It smells really good, too. It works great on soap scum, gets everything off. Next thing. 
carpet cleaner. Yes. Carpet cleaner gets expensive. I used to buy Resolve carpet cleaner, and it gets expensive if you have to use a lot of it. If you have animals, you obviously use a lot of it. I have two cats. I have to use a lot of it because they do get messy. Sometimes they throw up, they, they poop, they, you know, my guys don't poop or, or pee on the rugs or anything, but sometimes they throw up, sometimes they, you know, they're fall prints out of the litter box, whatever, anything. My kids, sometimes they drop something, anything. This gets it up. It's a foaming one. It's heavy traffic, foaming. It foams up like no tomorrow. You have to make sure nobody goes near it because the cats will eat it or whatever. But it really foams up and it gets everything clean. So definitely, if you're looking for something good that's along the lines of Resolve, this is good. Only a dollar. Try it. I would definitely buy it. And don't mind my hair. I am a mess today. But I just felt the ins inspiration to do a video. I figured I better go with it, or I'll never do it. So sorry that I look a mess. But hopefully next time I'll look better. Anyway, reusable gloves. These are by the Scrub Buddies brands. Where is that? Right there. Scrub Buddies brand. Um, these are for my husband. Hu husband. My fiance. Um, well, I might as well just call him my husband. These are for my fiance. Um, he likes to clean the toilet. He won't let me touch the toilet because of the boys. He says I should not have to clean up after boys. So, these are for him to clean the toilet. Me, I personally clean the toilet with just my bare hands. I, I it doesn't bother me. But it, bo it bothers him, so he has to have these. So, these are for the hubby. Next thing, air freshener. This is the Great Sense air freshener. Uh, I'm sure some of you have seen these. Um, these were around before Christmas, this scent. This scent is great. I love this scent. It smells like cookies. It smells just like baking cookies. It's great. Um... I haven't seen it around. I've seen these air fresheners, but I haven't seen the um, this scent. So if you see it, pick it up. Um, it says it's five in one. Um, says it neutralizes odors, quality fragrance, quick acting, fills a room, long lasting. Uh, the first four are definitely true. The last long lasting, it's not long lasting. You spray it and it lasts for three minutes. I basically use this when my cats stink up their litter box, and I feel like I'm going to throw up, <laughs> so I just spray this to counteract the stink. But um, it is good, though. It smells really good, but it doesn't last long. But for a dollar, what do you expect? It's fine. But it's perfectly fine. Next thing, renews it. Sometimes we will find things at the Dollar Tree that are name brand renews it. This was there. Um, you can get these cheaper. I've seen them in other stores cheaper, but you know, if you're in a pinch or if you see a scent that you like, just pick it up. That's what I did. Picked it up. Next thing. These wipes. These like Lysol wipes. Um, these are very good. Um, there's 24 wipes in here, so um, do the math if it's worth your dollar. For me, it's worth my dollar because if I'm in there, I just pick them up. Um, they do the same thing the Lysol wipes do. Very comparable. Um, this is one, one of them looks like this is the size of the wipe. And I have just got done using it before and I said, well, you know what, let me hold on to it for the video so I can show you guys a size comparison. But yeah, that's them. And they smell, smell really good. Just like lemon. Very clean. Next thing. One of these little lamp this is an aroma lamp. Um, basically what you do with this is you sit this on the counter and it's supposed to let out scent. It's supposed to be for a small room. They recommend bathrooms, kitchens, and closets. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have it and I am going to review it when um, when the time comes after I do use it. Um, right now I have an air freshener going that I'm going to show you. Um, but right now right now I don't know what it does so I'm not going to be able to tell you how that is 
Okay. So the next thing. I've seen a lot of people mention these, and the general consensus is these stink. People don't like them. I like it. This is the little thing with the little little bally things in it. And it has holes on top. This is the lavender chamomile. It smells very good. Um, if you're looking for something that gives out a heavy scent, this is not it. This will give you um, bursts of scent every now and then, like I'll be sitting here doing something on my computer or whatever, and all of a sudden I'll get a burst of scent. And it really does what it's supposed to do. I mean, I don't know if these balls are supposed to disappear at some point, because I saw a video of someone showing this that said they would never buy it again. I don't remember the name. I wish I did, because I would like to obviously give a shout out, but I don't remember the name, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, her balls, they were gone. Like, there was nothing left. And I'm like, wait a minute, are these supposed to disappear? Because they're not disappearing. Um, but I've had this for over a week, and I do love it. So definitely worth the dollar, I think. Give it a try. I also have a little, you know, snow globe here. One of the little uh, Valentine's Day ones. It's fine. It's ceramic. If you want one, buy it. If not, don't. And then I also have... This cost me $3 to make. Um, my fiancé, it all started off, he bought me one of these little roses. They're very pretty. Little little rose. Very de It's detailed. It's pretty. Um, he bought it for me. It was in a little gift box at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I wanted to display it. I didn't want to keep it in the box. Because if I kept it in the box, I would have put it away, and it would have been in a cabinet somewhere, and I wouldn't be able to see it. So um, I got one of these candle holders. I bought these little cubes. Well, not cubes. Uh, little, little, what do you call this? Mar it's not a marble. Um, bead. Sorry, bead. With little glass beads. Used a whole bag of those. Threw them in here, just threw the little rose in there. So, I'll probably get some more roses to, you know, I'll get like two more to fill it up. But, that's what I did with that. And, last but not least, I have a Swiffer. Now, I needed a Swiffer for my bathroom floor because, um, just a tidbit of information. Um, I was in a car accident back in May. May of 2014, and um, I was left disabled for six months, so, and I have a plate in my knee due to that car accident. And I used to get on my hands and knees to do my bathroom, but I can't do it anymore because of my knee. Um, it really hurts to do that. Um, so I got one of these little Swiffers, and I didn't know Dollar Tree sold these, and um, I was excited to hear that, and my my fiance was like, well, why don't we go get one? <laughs> if, if they have it, why don't we go get it? So I went to like three Dollar Trees, finally found one. And um, these are great. Like, this is really, like, you know, you would think, oh, it's Dollar Tree. This is not going to be strong at all. This is very, very, you know, these are going to hold up, you know, to a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of, <laughs> A lot of pushing. This is going to withstand a lot of pushing. Um, but yeah, this is from the Dollar Tree. Some people say this is a little flimsy. It's not super flimsy. It's a little flimsy, but, you know, it's from the Dollar Tree. Come on, guys. Let's not complain too much. But um, this is the end of it, so you can hang it. Um, and it, a lot of pe other people were saying it was short. Um, I'm only 4'11", so it doesn't really matter. It works well for me. So that's just the Swiffer itself. Now, since I only needed it for my bathroom, I have a tile floor in my bathroom. I didn't need to get the dry cloth. I needed the wet cloth. So, my first thing was I bought the pack of 20 wet cloth. Because I said, oh, there's a pack of 8 and there's a pack of 20. Let me get the 20. Obviously, get more for your money. These are terrible. Terrible. I didn't expect much for a dollar, but you can't even use them. Let me show you why. Here's one. 
it's very see-through. Um, it fits. It barely fits it. But, look. It ripped very easily. I didn't even really have to pull that. Rip, rips. So if you are using the Swiffer and you're applying pressure, it rips. All I did was apply a little bit of pressure and boom, it ripped right off. So these, I don't recommend at all. However, however, let me get this out of the way. I do recommend these. These are great. These are very wet. Oh, and also these are not very wet either. They are dry. One corner. This corner here is wet. The rest of this is damp. So really, it's not going to clean anything anyway. And it rips, so it's really not going to clean. However, these are very nice. Here's one. Much heavier. Much wetter. Wet. Very wet. It unfolds. very strong. I don't know if you can hear me pulling, but just so you can see, it's not going anywhere. It's not ripping. So, those are definitely worth it. These come in a pack of eight. Pack of eight. They're made from the same Scrub Buddies company. Now, that's what I didn't get. I didn't get how the same Scrub Buddies was going to make this crap and then these. These are great. I mean, these are comparable to the Swiffer Wet actual name brand Swiffers. So, these, no good. No, I just threw it across the bed. <laughs> no good. These, fantastic. For eight, eight of them, a dollar, okay, yeah, it's not a lot, but they are great. So you buy a few of them, you're good for a while. So, um, anyway, that's my review. Um, I'm sorry it kind of ended up being a little long, but um, if you could stand to listen to me for 17 minutes, or actually it'll be 18 minutes by the time I'm done, um, congratulations. If not, I completely understand. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. I get. I hope to hear from you at some point. Um, take care. See you at the next video. Bye-bye.